Hi guys, um, back for a somewhat quick video. Hopefully this will be a quick one. Um, I'm going to do a little review on what I promised. Cleansers. Um, I have two cleansers here. Um, recently I've been using the Urban Natural Styles um, Hair and Scalp Cleanser. And I just bought about a week and a half ago um, the Tadlia YG Moisture Cleanse. And let's see, where should we start? Okay, let's talk about the pros of cleansing the hair. Um, these products are excellent for newbies. Let's start there. Um, it, well, all lock wears. Um, even if you wear braids, you know, these are good products to have. Um, for newbies, let's start with you. Um, I'm sure most likely the majority of you, um, if, if you go to a loctician or not, you don't really wash your hair. Um, if you're under six, under, let's say eight months old, if your locks are under eight months old, you most likely don't wash your hair. So, um, when I first started, I used Seabreeze on my scalp. Um, the downfall about using Seabreeze is that, um, it makes the hair feel icky. It dries the locks out and makes the the hair to me feel kind of icky. It does good, do a good job of cleansing the scalp, but I wouldn't get that in your hair. Um, I've read on blogs, people have used um, like the regular Listerine. Um, I've never tried it, but I can imagine it has the same effect as um, the sea breeze. Once it gets into the hair, it can dry, be drying to the hair. So, um, so for years, I was using the Organic Root Stimulator um, Herbal Cleanse the dry shampoo, um, and then I stumbled onto this. I really like this because with my, with my, um, with my, uh, cleansers, I like to feel a tingle on my scalp. I don't know why, maybe it's just a single, signals to me that my, my hair is being cleaned, I don't know, but I just like the tingle. This gives me a tingle on my scalp immediately, as soon as you put it on, it's storming outside. Um, the great thing is, is if you work out or um, if you have an active you know, life locks, attract odors. So I like to use cleansers in between shampoos. Um, now that that, now I've said that, let's start with the Urban Natural Styles um, Hair and Scalp Cleanser. Um, in the previous video, this is like, it has kind of like a gel consistency. If you can see that. Um, and what I do is, I guess I can just go ahead and, and test it on out. Um, I cleansed my hair earlier. What I do is, let's see if I can zoom on in. What I do is, I just normally just kind of pour it onto the scalp. The only downfall about this product is that it has this kind of top, and I don't like that. I, I want more of a spout so I can get, like, a whole lot of product doesn't come out at one time. But anyway, I put a little bit on the scalp, and I just kind of massage it in with my finger, so you can see that. Massage it in with my finger, and then um, I take so, probably a group of locks, um, just for the purposes of the video. Um, initially, if I'm really doing this, I'd section my hair into four parts and um, go per section up with the, with the cleanser. But now I can put a little bit on my fingertips and massage it into the lock. I would generally use a little bit more than this. And just kind of let it sit for a second. See, it's already starting to tingle on my scalp. Um, these are like cheapy cloths from Walgreens. You know, you get like Ten in a pack for like three bucks. The, this one has not lit up on me at all. But you can get the lint-free cloths if you don't feel comfortable with using just a plain whitewash cloth. So anyway, this let's, this has to be damp, not wet, just damp. And what I do is take my finger like this and go in and just rub, rub the scalp like that. And that's all I do. And just, just rub it. And most of the time, oop, and I guess I didn't get it good the first time. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit of dirt coming up. 
and you'll know you're getting it because I don't care if you washed your hair a couple days before this stuff will pick something up um, I don't recommend you doing it that often every couple days is good maybe if you have an active lifestyle like that generally people just need to use this once and they're good until their next shampoo so just rub it in and if you hear that it's like storming but crazy outside so sorry then once you finish doing your scalp, you go down the lock, and I just kind of rub it, just kind of maneuver it back and forth, like that, all the way down, okay? It's really easy, um, it, to do your whole head, it takes about the same amount of time as it would to wash your hair. There you go. Um, so... And I really like this. It really gets the grind out. It really gets the crud out. Now, the moisture cleanse. I really like this product. It does not tingle on the scalp like the hair and scalp cleanser. But this stuff is like a, let's call it a defuncter. <laughs> it, it gets, not only does it clean the hair and clean the scalp, but it also rem like removes odor. And that's why I like this product. Like if, you know, if, if I actually did work out, um, <laughs> I could just, you know, spray it. If I'm at the gym, just go through and spray it on the hair like that. Okay. It has like a toothpaste smell to it. If you can tolerate that, you'll like the product. It smells like, um, it has peppermint oil in it. So, but you would do the exact same thing with a liquid form of, um, cleanser as you would with more of the gel type consistency. Um, you would just spray it on the scalp like that. Spray it down the hair. Hopefully you can see that. Spray it down the hair. Okay. I like, I like to let mine sit for just a second so I can penetrate for a second and then go in with the cloth. Now make sure your cloth is damp. It does not have to be sopping wet. It just has to be damp. Um, I don't necessarily see a problem with it being dry, but, you know, um, it's just kind of easier to work with the cloth if it's damp. So, but yeah. And then just go, just go down the lock and repeat the process. Repeat the process. Like, you know, if you, your head is really filthy, you're going to have to do it maybe two or three times to get it, you know, really, um, really, you know, at least get it okay. And you can tell when your locks are, um, when you've pretty much got them somewhat clean because they feel actually lighter. But, um, but yeah, I, I like this product simply because it is a liquid form, because um, it is, like, it, remove, it eliminates odor within locks. Um, I really with Dotus in a bag. So between these two, it really just comes down to money and it's only $4, about a $4 difference between the two. So I really, let's hold this up in the camera. This is the Talia YG Moisture Cleanse. And this is the natural, I mean, Urban Natural Styles um, Hair and Scalp Cleanser. This one is very, is difficult to find. Um, People, nobody has, not that I know of, has left a message saying that they've been able to find it, um, like a Salas or one, a, a well-known beauty supply chain. So, um, the only place I've actually seen it online is on eBay. So, um, but yeah, good product, very good product. Um, I probably, just for the convenience factor, would roll with the Talia YG simply because it is a loose form and I could just spray it all over to eliminate the odor. Um, you know, when you go to a smoky club, um, when you're in a gym, gym stink too, to me. Um, just, it's a, the convenience factor. It's really quick to the point. Um, this is not quick at all. So, um, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.